Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about writing your qualitative report. Um, so when you are writing up your qualitative manuscript, uh, you want to make sure that you use quotes directly from the data that you collected. Uh, you want to make sure they're de-identified, don't give away any personal information or any um, information that could allow a reader to identify who the person is. Uh, so it doesn't have to be name or age or um, it doesn't have to be any specific personal information, but it could be that you, um, you know, if you name how long they've been at the company, that could be enough to narrow down who you might be talking about if there are only a few people who've been at the company that long. Uh, so be really careful about what kind of information that you disclose. Um, but you should use quotes to represent the different themes that you uncovered when you did your data analysis. Uh, you'll want to use dialogue that reflects the culture that you're studying. Um, so use words and terms and language that is representative of what you are studying to give the reader a better sense of the context and the culture um, behind what happened in the study. Um, when you're sharing what happened, use all sorts of different forms of narrative. So you can tell stories, you can talk about interviews, you can share photographs, you can provide histories, um, and the list goes on and on. So there are all sorts of different ways to provide a narrative to the reader. So use as many of those different methods as, as, as are appropriate for your study. Uh, you want to write in the first person for qualitative research. Um, so the researcher is the instrument of data collection. Um, and so it makes sense that you'd be writing about your experience as the researcher and your interactions with the participants, because in qualitative research, the researcher is part of the process of research. Um, in quantitative research, the researcher is separate from the data itself or themselves. Um, and so that's why in quantitative research, you kind of step away from your writing and you're writing about what happened without including yourself and being part of the story. But in qualitative research, you are part of the story. So you use the first person when you're writing. Uh, it's okay to use metaphors and analogies, which usually we steer away from in quantitative research, but in qualitative, it's very acceptable and often helpful for illustrating points. Um, and the narrative should reflect the strategies that you used in your data collection methods. Um, so if you're writing your method section, now this could be in a proposal before you've conducted the research or in your method section after the fact when you're writing your manuscript, um, you want to discuss the characteristics of qualitative research. So um, the researcher as the key instrument, um, working with the participants in their own setting, uh, and so on. I, I discussed these in a past video, so you can look back there uh, to find the characteristics of qualitative research. Uh, you want to also discuss your data collection methods. So how do you plan or how did you collect data? and then your plan or methods for how you analyzed your data. So did you use software? Did you have multiple researchers working on the analysis? Um, and then the expected outcomes. And so this could be in a proposal, what do you expect to see? Or in your manuscript, it would still be, what did you expect to see, even though the research is already completed? Um, and then, of course, you want to include whatever your strategies are that you employed to validate your research. So what extra measures did you take to increase the validity of your study? All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.